All right, this topic is called titration or acid-base titrations. A titration is a process when we want to know the concentration of an unknown acid or base. To do that, we use a known volume and concentration of a base or an acid. And it takes advantage of the fact that when the pH is equal to 7, the solution is neutral which means that at a pH of 7, the H plus is equal to the OH minus. Now, once again, what we're doing in a titration is one of these I don't know, one of them I do, I do know. So if I can figure one out and I know they're the same value because they are equal, then I know the concentration of the other. A simple example is if we're like at a dance and we don't know how many girls are in the room but we send 20 boys in and six come out and say they can't find someone to dance with then we know there was 14 there in the first place because they're equal numbers now so what we do is we take a burette that's this thing that you can see in blue and we fill it with a base so what we're trying to figure out is the unknown concentration of acid. We put a known concentration of base in this burette, and we slowly add it to this unknown acid solution. We keep track of that with an indicator. And remember that an indicator is something that changes color as the pH changes. In this picture I stole from the Internet, it looks like they use phenolphthalein. It will turn pink once we've added enough base. So what you would do is you would open this valve, it's called the stopcock, and you would add the base into the acid until it turned pink. And you keep track of how much you add. So let's just talk this through. Let's say that I knew the concentration of this base was 0.1 molar. And let's say I had to add 20 milliliters in order for this to become neutral. All right. Now this acid, I don't know its concentration, but I would know its volume. Let's say it was 100 milliliters. Okay. In titrations, we have a math equation that says the volume of the acid times the concentration of the acid is equal to the volume of the base times the concentration of the base. And I know most of these. I know the volume of the base is 20 milliliters. I know the concentration of the base was 0.1. And I know the volume of the acid was 100 milliliters. So now I just have to solve for this value, which is my only unknown. To do that, I divide both sides by 100. That gets rid of, it was milliliters, that gets rid of the unit milliliters. It leaves me with 20 times 0.1 divided by 100. And plugging that into my calculator, I got that the concentration of my acid is equal to 0.02 molar. Okay, now let's talk about this graph right here. This is what we call a titration curve. It shows the pH of the unknown solution as I added base. The pH stays flat mostly until I get to a point where it curves up and then goes almost straight up. This point right here is called the equivalence point. It is when the H plus and the OH minus are equal to each other. Once I'm past that, the pH quickly rises and then plateaus again, because if I were to keep adding base, the solution would just become basic and stay basic. So that is just roughly an introduction to titrations.